Good morning guys and welcome to What I Ate Wednesday. Right now I am drinking a Starbucks Frappuccino. This is in the mocha flavor. Really like this. I have an everything bagel getting too toasty. Let's turn this off. Jackson is having some breakfast over there. He's eating some egg frittata some grapes and some Cheerios, with some milk. So I just kind of made a little more toasty than I like to do of everything bagel and I'm gonna put some cream cheese on it. So I have the one third less fat Philadelphia. I'm just gonna put it on my bagel and good to go. I'm actually forgot that I was supposed to meet um, our church ministers today after I drop off Jackson, so I'm gonna have two coffees. So we'll see what happens, but yeah, that is what's for breakfast. So here is the bagel with some cream cheese. I don't like to like coat a lot of it. So I'm gonna eat this, and then depending on if Jackson finishes his frittata or not, I may finish that as well. Hey guys, so I did have a with um, Mary and I went to a new place the Wake Forest Coffee Company I got a Java chip frappuccino that I drink with her so I had a Java chip frappuccino really good better than Starbucks I will say so I stopped by Target and they had some fall stuff out of the Target um, dollar spot and I'm not gonna lie I asked them because it was really like slim pickings I asked them how long this has been out and they said it's been out for a week so I've been to Target in a week and it's been out so I want to share with you guys what it is that I got at Target um, one thing that isn't from the dollar spot is this mug this is the hello gorgeous um, mug and it's just a really pretty pink mug with gold lettering. I'm going to a mom's night out tomorrow and they said bring some mugs that we're gonna wrap and kind of do like a white elephant with mugs or cups or anything like that. So I thought this would be really cute. I'd be okay if I took it home myself. That was about $6. So getting into some fall stuff. I've seen this around. I'm pretty sure it was around last year and I really wanted it. But this is a little candle holder or you can put candy or whatever in there. It says little monsters welcome here. And it's just a cute little pumpkin. They also had one that said witches or brewing or something. This is $5. I thought it was super cute. I love this. So I picked it up. Sorry for the air conditioning. Um, so then I found this cute little banner sign I'm going to put on my chalkboard. This is $3. It says home. I don't know how well you can see that. But it says home with the O being a little wreath. So that was really cute. I love list pads, especially when they have the magnet. And this says creep it real. And this was just a dollar. What else do I got here? Oh, this really a cute picture frame it just says family in like a rose gold maybe that's gold i can't really tell so a nice little picture frame for three dollars i thought it'd be really good to kind of put a family picture fall kind of inspired in there i figured this would be cute to put on our fall wreath right now it is just the letter j this was a buck it's just a kind of wooden they had a bunch of different wooden monogram letters and I thought J, J, J for my last name. Then we are getting um, new patio furniture. So I'm really excited. I saw this. It says home sweet home in this really gorgeous like dark blue green teal kind of color. And then on the back it says pick your own pumpkins. So I thought this would be really good for on our patio area for fall time and then the rest of the year just say home sweet home a good nice way to kind of change it up and then if you guys know me I love children's books I love seasonal children's books and they had all their Halloween stuff they had all their Halloween books out they didn't have their Halloween section out yet so I'm really happy I'm gonna have to like keep an eye out for that but I found two cute little books Jackson's gonna love this is a peak a flap boo book and this was $12 and they have just different flaps 
and it's Halloween themed and I love books like this. Jackson loves the flat books right now so I think this will be a really fun book to read in the next couple months. And then we just got the little blue truck, the original, and we just got little blue, we originally got little blue truck springtime, then I just purchased little blue truck. So I had to find, buy the little blue truck Halloween. So really excited for this. This is another kind of lift and flat book. The little blue truck, the original, isn't a lift and flat book, but this is. So I'm really excited to have this because I just put up the springtime one and Jackson's kind of sad, but that is my Target haul. I'm about to go pick up Jackson and then I'll share with you guys my lunch. Hey guys, so Jackson just went down for a nap, so I'm going to eat one of these salads. You can get them pretty much every grocery store, but it is the Bistro Ready Packs. My husband picked this out last week and I figured I will eat it this week. It's a little expired, but it kind of looks okay so I'm still going to eat it um, this is the kick-in barbecue style it has chopped romaine and iceberg blend cabbage carrots barbecue se seasoning seasoned white meat chicken black beans roasted corn tortilla chips and barbecue ranch chicken so I'm just going to make this and bubble it up for lunch so for dinner, we're going to have fajitas. So I am going to start marinating the chicken. I normally try and get it done um, before now and have it like marinate throughout the night, but I didn't do it last night. So I am going to get that started, cut up the chicken and get gallon size bag. So in the package, there were three chicken breasts. I'm gonna save one to add to my chili. I like to just have a little bit of chicken in my chili. Husband prefers chicken chili, so I'm just gonna say this to the side. We're making chili later this week. So here are the two chicken breasts, and these are the ingredients for my marinade that I absolutely love. I got it from a friend of ours who was the best man actually in our wedding. But what you will need are two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of lime juice, two teaspoons of Texas peat or whatever hot sauce you prefer. You can put more hot sauce in if you like more spicy hot fajitas or you can do less. And then you just add a little onion powder, red pepper flakes, paprika, and garlic powder just kind of to your liking. I just kind of sprinkle it all on top so that is what I'm going to put in now again I wish I had my tripod to show you guys I will definitely do it in future what I eat Wednesdays but I am going to put all those like I said ingredients in the chicken and I'll get right back at you stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like I'm, I'm wasted there's not really Every any exact I measurements. I just kind of do what of time and space. I see. I don't know where I am. It's I want my family first. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my mind. I will find On the chicken I'm just gonna set it back into the fridge until I am ready to cook it tonight so I'm gonna put this up like I said I'm going to eat my salad and then start cleaning up say I am drinking water I like to walk around the house with a big water jug helps me remember to drink and I try and drink at least two of them a day so I I'm going to eat now. I keep saying that, but I'm going to eat now.
but last night I finished that chicken taco. It kind of got a little hectic for dinner time, but I ate the chicken taco, some guacamole and queso and salsa with chips, and then I had two Oreos. Two Oreos, I know. Um, I split it with Jackson though, if that helps. He ate a couple, a little bit of it. But that was everything for this morning, Wednesday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I didn't share with you my Oreos last night, but, oh, okay, we're shutting the door. I'm a little munchkin over here. But I plan on doing more of these if you guys are interested here on my channel. Be sure to like this video and let me know down below if you want to see more what I ate Wednesdays. It's kind of my step into cook with me kind of videos, but we'll see. Ah, ah, ah. He is so obsessed with opening the trash can. Do you guys have any like baby proofing for this? Let me know, it's so annoying. But I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. You never know what we will find.